Well, hey, all you viewers to be named later. How are we doing today? I know we have a really nondescript box, all right? This is going to be a Kanku <laughs> See Like Charlie 1390 tactical knife. All right, now usually I do not touch clones, I do not touch knockoffs, I don't touch anything like that. But for a while, I was trying to find Top Street Scalpel or something like that on Amazon, and I kept getting the wrong stuff. And then this guy seriously popped up on my Amazon feed. And I was like, okay, it really looks the exact same, the exact same dimensions, the exact same almost stats, all that other fun stuff. I figured, okay, let me pull the trigger and break my own rule and see if I actually like this thing. Now, the part that gets me the most, okay, I can't find like a Cancun, um web store. I just, I can't. I know they're made in China. I know they're very, very popular blades on eBay and Amazon. But I figured, okay, let's bring it. Let's see if we can have some fun with it. You know, so bear with me and let's get this one going. All right, it has an overall length of about seven inches. The blade's about 2.375 and the handle is about 4.625. It comes in at a really minor weight for a fixed blade of about 4.30 ounces. Now, this is what kills me. I can't really find a blade style for that. It's not really drop point. It's not really anything. It looks more like a scalp, a surgical scalpel. So I'm just going to call blade style scalpel. All right. It does have a black finish on there. I couldn't find anything about the grind. Um, it's got a plain edge and hold on a sec. All right. Sorry about that. I started to hear video game pause music in the background. I'm really not in the mood for a copyright strike. All right, like I said, it does have a plain edge. Now, according to Amazon, this is D2 steel. Take that for what it's worth, okay? I can't verify it. I can't find anything else. I just seriously thought it was a neat little blade to bring to the channel. It does have, like, this black and olive drab um, micarta scales. Now, we do have a really good lanyard hole right down here. And they claim that the sheath is Kydex, and it does come with a tech lock, which I thought was really, really cool. Okay. <laughs> One of the biggest things that I don't like... My nail catches right alongside the scales. So there's a huge dip up in the top. And it seems to um, be a little bit too far out on the blade on the bottom. It fits good in the hand, though. And I do like the jimping above and below to give you great little in-control work. But still. All right. Let's bring up the cut tests like we usually do. Now, I usually only do three of them, okay? And if you want to know why I do those three, take a look right up top. I'm going to leave you a card for why I do those cut tests. First one, like usual, heavy-duty stock paper. Well, that was cool. Almost curly cued right away. Wow. <laughs> All right. I'm done with that. You can't even really cut paper. Ooh, that's what you get for buying a knockoff, dumbass. All right, paracord. This is going to be fun. Pull. God. <sighs> Slice. Went through that. Alright, let's see what we can do to our friend Mr. Ratchet Strap. I'm really truly not liking this blade. Yep, right up there. Let's give it one more try. Yep. Okay. Really needs to be sharpened up. I mean, it feels good, but it cuts for crap. Whew. Yeah. One of the worst reviews I think I've ever got to do. Okay. So, I did the homework and did all the fun stuff on this video on March 12th, 2021. And I'm filming this on March 13th, 2021. Now, I found it on Amazon, obviously. I can't find a Kanku web store. And Blade HQ Kanku is not listed at all. But the Topps Scalpel is about $81.95. And that's got like 1095 high carbon steel, I think. And everything is like the exact same dimensions, except for the scales. They're like black on gray. 
Why not, right? In the middle of a ripoff blade, let's have some camera dumps. Like I said, over on Amazon, it's been reviewed 43 times for a 4.5 out of 5 star rating, which I just think is absolute crap. It looks good, felt great in the hand, can't cut worth crap, it seems like. But we're at the best part of the video for me. I want to know your questions, comments, love, hatred, anger, all that good stuff right down below. Let's just save it. It's an F-bomb, all right? Some of you may like it. It's an F-bomb. I'm just kidding. We're going to cut right through that, all right? Oh. For you first-time viewers of my channel, I just want to say, hey, thanks so much for watching this video. There's a huge reason why I don't review knockoff blades, and this is a big reason why. Yeah, we'll call that a $28 investment into Chris, you're stupid. Don't break your rules ever again. But for you first-time viewers and you long-term viewers who have yet to subscribe, well, my question is, why not? What can I do to earn your subscription? Why don't you leave me a comment right down below what I can do? You never know how you're going to change the course of history of this channel, right? Camera dumped again. This is all I'm going to do. I'm just going to wrap it up just like that, guys, because I don't really want to have any more dumps and get aggravated, all that fun stuff. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope all of you are having a great day, a safe day. We'll see you in the next video.